Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's discuss about what are pads that is personal access tokens in Azure DevOps okay you can imagine a pad like a password for a authentication in Azure DevOps okay the pad actually um, identifies you and determines the level of accessibility and scope of access that you need to have in your particular organization okay so um, whenever you are working with Microsoft tools by default, uh, Microsoft Enter ID will, is recognized and supported for your authentication. Okay, uh, for people who don't know what Microsoft Enter ID is, do not worry. I will cover a separate video for that. But for now, imagine it as a um, you know, it's it's another uh, identity and access management platform that allows uh, companies to manage organization membership and safeguard your company's resources in a more uh, authenticated way. Okay, but why I am talking that is because by default whenever you are using Microsoft tools enter ID is the most recommended and default approach that is taken but whenever you are not whenever you are not using a tools that does not support Microsoft enter ID PAT is the next recommended approach okay so in those kind of situation PAT can be actually very much uh, suitable uh, whenever you want to connect to github or any other rest apis for authentication so those kind of in those kind of situations pat will be a more um, it's it's a secondary approach okay so let's see how do we actually create pat and how do you uh, manage it okay let's go to the right hand corner on my web, web ui there is something called user settings okay i am currently in my organization page so once I go to user settings, you can select personal access tokens. Okay, as soon as I select the personal access token, you can see currently I don't have any uh, personal access tokens created. So I'm gonna click on new token and give it a meaningful name. Let's say if I wanna create a personal access token for GitHub, I'm providing some meaningful name here. And next is you can select the organization for which you wanna create this pad okay for now i am just leaving it as crm tiago but in case if you want to provide it for all the accessible organization also you can do that and then diff and then you have to provide the expiration date okay ideally uh, as a best practice people usually keep it as uh, 90 days and uh, even lesser keeping it as 30 days is more uh, efficient but ideally i've seen people uh, mostly use 90 days as a um, uh, default or more frequently used expiration I want as soon as I select 90 days you can see it, it uh, the date got selected for from 90 days from today and once you do that you, there is an option called scopes where you can either grant full scope okay full access or any custom defined okay we have full access but ideally uh, that is not a very recommended approach but if at all you are in a situation where you want to grant full access then you can actually give that but custom defined is the more ideal way when creating pads okay when we say custom defined you want to give what kind of access you want to give to this pad for each and every modules for example say work items what kind of access you want to provide like say read and write and uh, for code do you want to uh, when i say code access to source code repositories pull requests and others and other notifications okay you you want to read write and manage and build read and execute release read write and execute similarly there are many more scopes as well you can look at all these scopes and select whatever level of access you want to provide that okay so as simple as that once you do that all you need to do is just create once you create it you can clearly see there is a warning which actually tells you to actually copy this uh, token and keep it or store it somewhere secretly so that um, you know you can reuse if at all required because uh, once you close this the above access token is gone you cannot actually make a note of that token once again okay so that's why you want to make sure you copy the token as soon as you create it okay so let me close this once I create it, you can see in the manage access in the manage tokens tab, I can clearly see my pad, whichever, whatever I created just now. So once I select that, there are many options. Okay. 
so there are there is an option to edit okay in case if i want to change something or uh, give uh, now uh, more level of access or reduce the level of access what i can do is i can just change that for example i'm just giving full access to source code and i'm just saving it okay this way you can actually edit it and uh, change the level of access you wanna provide and there is another option to regenerate okay in case for some reason you you feel the pad is um, you know compromised in those kind of situation you can actually regenerate it okay if i go to regenerate this will actually regenerate and give you a new token okay so this uh, there's an option to regenerate as well and there is an option to revoke so when i revoke it it will be completely gone okay so this is that's all the managing personal access tokens is very easy okay but there are few things to keep in mind when you are actually working with personal access tokens so here are few things that i just wanted to highlight okay first thing is you know you actually need to store your pad in a very secret uh, fashion for example uh, let's say you want to i would recommend you to store it in an azure key vault okay so that it is not compromised and it is stored in a secret or a safe way okay and you regularly rotate or regenerate your pads okay that is something very much important i have seen in many organizations where you know people usually follow that they regularly rotate the pads in order to um, ensure the security okay and you revoke this pad whenever it is no longer in use okay so that is something very much important okay and uh, uh, few things to keep in mind for admins okay what they need to do is okay they need to uh, you know they they need to set the policies which restrict uh, the pad creation uh, or um, you know they don't want to give the level of access for pad creation for everyone in the organization okay they can have a, a certain level of restrictions to individuals or or individual groups okay that is something admins can keep in mind when whenever they are dealing with uh, pads okay um, uh, either tenant admins can actually revoke the pad for their organization users if they actually feel the pad is compromised and uh, if the uh, if the account is no longer existing okay for example i created a pad and i i do not have uh now i move out of the organization and uh, as soon as the account is deactivated that personal access token will also be revoked okay so that that is something we need to keep in mind and uh, as soon as you have created a personal access token probably you might have got an email so you can verify the details there and whenever it is nearing the expiry date uh, ideally before 3 days you will get another reminder so you can actually uh, regenerate or uh, no rotate your tokens accordingly okay so you can still uh, deal with uh, you know uh, th there are more ways in which pads can be actually used let's see few methods in our upcoming videos but for now you know this is the introductory i wanted to cover as part of personal access token okay so that's all what i want to cover if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you